you recognize that all it will take is you knowing your audience well enough to know how to connect to what they value. And so what you saw in this video is that the right words are just not enough. You, you have, um, writing is like a business. So if you think about how, when you have a business, you have to manage it, right? And in order to manage it, you need to know who works for you and then who you're serving. So with writing, you have to do the same thing. You might know how to write well, like you can write a clear sentence, right? You know how to add details. Can you connect with your audience? But that's not enough. It's not all you need to be concerned with. You you need to be concerned with how you can get your reader to see things the way you want them to see it, hmm. right? In and that school, takes- they taught you to use the Chicago style. Um, you might be familiar with APA or MLA, this manual, okay? The government has a particular style of writing. So you're going to look at the GPL manual or you're going to obey the plain language act, okay? Uh, if it's college writing, then most likely you're going to follow the APA style or the MLA style or even the Chicago style, All right? So be familiar with the different styles. Uh, and then know your audience so you know which style is a, is most appropriate. Okay, and that's the job of an editor. Coming class to so thirty. Have that message. Class. You got to think about okay, what is the audience? What would they value? That was a beautiful. And then, video. then even yeah. though you might have different interests, if you can make what you value connect with what they value, hmm. then you have their attention. Right. So the ne- the young lady comes by, she changes the sign, and she says, it's spring, and I can't see it. How did that connect? Then you got to try something else. Siobhan, I, I saw you have to connect that so they can see, and so they would understand why uh, they should give. So tap into what you You follow me? Writing is a skill. It's developing the ability to understand other people and then using the tools and using a variety of punctuation and words and phrasing to say what you mean, mean what you say so that the audience will receive it the way you intend them to receive it. Hmm. So let's go to our assignment. Can you please, actually you did, you all did, collaborated on the strengths and weaknesses there you notice that it was basically grammatically correct didn't know that. now an essay is a, the other type of writing that we do you see where it says plain language say it simply yeah yes yes, yes. okay yes perfect i'm sam snoop the plain language sloop and this is my sidekick maggie the magnifying glass maggie and i are working the plain language caper our job is to smoke out writing all time. Plan before you write. Talk about what you're writing with communications, legal, and subject matter experts. Talk about the content's purpose. Know your reader, their situation, and how they will receive the information. Organize the information so it's easy to understand. Select the right and right amount of content. Arrange the information logically and format it for easy use. Write the way you speak. Use everyday language. Would a list or table make something easier to understand? Review what you've written. If you can, put your document down for a while and come back to it for a fresh look. Try reading it to a friend or your neighbor in the next cubicle. Test it with real users. That's the power of plain language. Say it simply. Keep it simple, 